Hi babe, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Shayla. Just doing all my little wellnessy things. Garlic, kraut, and coconut probiotic yogurt for my skin and gut health. Vegan B complex, a ginger shot, and lipospheric C for immune benefits. Probably eat these after my Pilates class, but my groons, gummy vitamins, because I'm obsessed with these. They're like a greens and multivitamin in gummies. They're delicious. And of course, my celery juice, which I do for gut health and my skin. I'm a creature of habit. I do these things every single morning without fail and I'd like to think that they work. I normally don't eat in the morning just because I'm not hungry typically but I am kind of hungry today. So I'm gonna make some avocado toast. I got some sourdough bread. Time for Pilates. Pilates is truly so therapeutic for me. It just makes me feel so good. I am gonna head home now and make some lunch. I actually got some fish last night. And I wanna bake it for lunch with some jasmine rice and broccoli. I have not had fish in like a month. <laughs> I was really craving it. So I'm just in my listening to my body era. Also, I saw that I got this question a few times on Instagram about what my diet is. I still don't eat meat, eggs, or any dairy. So I'm technically like, other than fish every now and then, I am plant-based still. I'm still not eating any other animal products, but occasionally when my body is craving it, I do have some fish. I'm not really following a recipe. I am just kind of going with how I remember this being made. So I'm chopping up some green onions, cilantro, and some red chili pepper. And then for the sauce, I'm just gonna do some tamari, a dash of honey, and some crushed ginger. I'm gonna add a few of these chilies diced up in there and some of the cilantro in there. And then for the fish, I'm just gonna use some Atlantic cod. I usually like to use haddock for this, but they didn't have any. I'm gonna do a dash of olive oil, some salt and pepper, and then I'm just gonna do a little bit of this sauce, not too much. I'll dress it after. I just wanna do just a dash to get those flavors going. And you kinda like fold it up in a little envelope. And I'll bake it for like 15 or 20 minutes. I'm just gonna do that with some steamed broccoli. Just got some packages from downstairs and I thought we would unbox them together. Although I was waiting for a package from Brooklyn in, but it did not come yet. Hopefully it'll come tomorrow. A little bedroom refresh that I wanna do. But first, let me show you what I got from Amazon. I'm very excited about this. The first thing that I really, really, really wanna try is this CoverGirl lip stain pen. This is a little dark for me for every day, but I do think it could be nice for fall. And let's put some of my your lip glow oil on top and see. Yeah, I like it. What color is this? Shuggy Girl 10. I think I like a little bit lighter color, but this is nice for fall. That's the first thing that I got. Also am trying to find a little dish to put my sage in when I'm burning it. Something that is like cute and aesthetic. And then I ordered two different colors because I wasn't sure which one I like better. But I think just upon seeing it, I think I like the beige better for my living room. Got a little white lighter for my candles. What else did I get? Oh, and then I also ordered a really cute little trucker hat kind of situation. I saw this girl wearing and I was like, um, where's your hat from? That's so cute. She had like a little workout set on in this hat. And I was like, oh, 
That is so cute. I need that. Love this so much. Adorable. I feel like I did pretty good on Amazon. And then I also ordered a couple of clothing items. Let me show you. I bought this brown vest. Can't believe it, but I'm already thinking about fall clothing. Love that. I have a black little puffer vest, but I really wanted to get a brown one because I'm gonna try and wear more brown this fall. I also bought a hooded sweatshirt. I was really looking for one this color. Oh, this doesn't feel that soft and fluffy though. No, I don't like this. <laughs> that's not very soft. No, that's going back. And then I also got this blue short set. I really like this a lot. This is my ideal outfit working from home. <laughs> Cute too to like throw on sneakers with and go grab a coffee or go run errands. Love. I also got a few cardigans from H&M. My friend Hannah had a black one on it and it looks so good. I had to order it. It is literally the perfect cardigan. They also had this pajama set that I thought was really cute. The last thing that I did was my friend Veronica had the perfect necklace stack on the other night. And I asked her permission. I was like, listen, I'm gonna have to copy you. That is so good. <laughs> and so I fully copied her and ordered from this brand called Melanie Ald. I got this chain cute little stack. And then I also got this little Taurus medallion, which I thought was really cute. I will put the stack on, but I do just want to say if you are buying yourself jewelry and it gives you an option to write yourself a little gift note, write yourself a note. I actually forgot that I wrote this little note to myself. And when it came, it just reminded me. And I love that. So if you ever have the option when you're ordering something, is this a gift? Just select yes and write your future self a note. I'd probably take my little dainty ones off when I'm Wearing this stack, but I just thought it was so cute. She had on a plain tank and jeans and this little necklace stack and it looked so freaking good. Anyway, that is my shopping haul. All my girlfriends came. My love. All my besties. Lucky me. Through Brooke, she's running. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> Love to talk shit. We're like, which airline? I what know, happened? Like, no, no, I'm Who? Yeah, I was about to be like, okay. But um, after the whole trip, I like am walking out the front, and this flight attendant stops me. She's like, "Excuse me, I know you." I thought like I lost my bag or something. <laughs> she's like, "Your friends with that YouTuber Shay." Like she's <laughs> like, oh, <my> God. <laughs> Cheers, dog. Why not? Little glass of. <laughs> you know what? I am lucky. We are off in search of food. <laughs> Italian food. Italian pasta. food. Pizza, pasta, let's go. Carve it up. Maybe a wine. Oh, yeah. Maybe wine, a wine. not. <laughs> Maybe a water. <laughs> Yo, Maybe both. Maybe a carb. 100% a carb. A bread. Absolutely. And we just planned her birthday, which I'm so excited for. It's gonna be so fun. We're gonna have to film that too, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> Come 
Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Oh. Good morning. I'm very happy because my Brooklyn in package came. Yay! Which means I get to refresh my bed. I am obsessed with their linen sheets. Actually, I'm obsessed with everything from Brooklyn in. I have been a customer and fan of theirs for many, many years. I exclusively use their bedding on my bed and actually their towels as well. They're just my favorite. It's so high quality, such a good price. They have so many color variations. It's so easy to order on their website. And I just feel like my bedroom needs some fresh energy. Although I am keeping the same color vibe in there because my bedroom for me just needs to feel like a light, bright, creamy, calm sanctuary. And that energy just energizes me to have like a calm, relaxing bed. I'm a naturally very high energy person and sleep is not my strong suit. <laughs> and I'm not necessarily like a good sleeper. So I need calm, relaxing vibes in my bedroom. Bliss in a box. Could not agree more. I have to tell you, one of the first things that I did to start to up-level my life was get good bedding. Some things in life are worth spending on and you sleep in your sheets every single night. Good quality rest is so important to have a high quality life. And that is why I feel like investing in good bedding is absolutely worth every penny. Brooklyn and value is the best. I always love getting the bundles because you save when you bundle items together rather than purchasing them separately. And I always get a hardcore sheet bundle. I love that you can mix and match colors and patterns from the comfort of your home. You just make the entire buying process so easy. And the hardcore bundle comes with everything you need, a fitted sheet, flat sheet, duvet cover, and four pillowcases. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I did purchase the same exact color <laughs> that I have on my bed currently. I've had my linen sheets for quite a while and I just felt like it was time to refresh. And then I also got the most gorgeous organic cotton quilt and shams to add some texture to my bed because I feel like I need a little bit more going on, but I wanna keep the same color combo and palette going because it's just so calming to me. It's their cream linen color. It is so freaking beautiful, but they also have so many other colors if you're into more brights or white. I've done so many different color combinations from Brooklyn and they truly have something for everyone. I personally loved their washed linen hardcore sheet bundle. The material is lightweight and airy and it really just gets softer the more you use it. And it just gives this like effortless but elevated look and they are so comfortable. Okay, let's put this on my bed and then I'll show you the organic cotton quilt and shams that I got because they're chef's kiss. decor updates in the coming months because I feel like I've been in this apartment now for over two years and I'm just ready for a little bit of a fresh start but I thought I would start with my bed because as we all know it's very important to get good rest and my bedroom is my safe place and then to add some texture to my bed, I got this gorgeous organic cotton quilt with matching shams. It's super lightweight and soft, and I absolutely love the subtle texture. It's made from 100% organic cotton, and it comes in three colors, which is ideal for mixing, matching, and topping on your bed. Like I said, the bundles that they have are amazing deals. I always shop a bundle, but right now, if you shop the link in the description box, you can get 15% off your first Brooklyn Inn order, which will help you save even more. I feel like now is the perfect time to do a bedroom refresh and start to embody the energy of your next level self to you're like four months away from the end of the year. And I just love the idea of getting really in the energy of my next level self now so that I gain momentum through the rest of the year and I can start the new year as my next level self. And there is just something about having high quality, gorgeous bedding and your home in order and the vibes right that just really helps me get into the energy of my next level self. Again, don't forget to shop the link in the description box for 15% off your first Brooklyn Inn order. On another note, I know some of you don't like these pictures above my bed, but I literally don't care. I really like them, but I'm looking at them right now and they need to go, they need to go higher.
Today is a pretty heavy admin day for me, so I don't know how much I'm actually gonna vlog today because I'm really not gonna be doing anything that exciting. Probably just at my computer all day. <laughs> yeah. Cookbooks. Okay. Well, maybe we keep this one though. This is our old stomping grounds. Okay. My what? Oh, this? Okay. Yeah. Um, serving spoons and these wooden things here. I know. I like the one you have. Yeah. That's where you have a nice pop of color. So I'm gonna write pot. Yep. Let me see some of your glasses. Okay. I'm gonna trust the process here. Yeah, and if we need to of these. Okay, all right. We we're gonna get something else with color. Dark wood like that. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now stand back and see what you see. I'm so excited. It looks so good. I slept so well last night, and I swear to you, I don't know if it's mental, but having fresh bedding and just feeling like you're getting your space in order really does make the biggest difference. Last night I FaceTimed with Terry. She is a very good family friend of mine. If you watch my vlogs, then you know of her. She's my friend Danny's mom, who Danny used to live in New York. That's who I originally visited when I came to New York for the first time. And Danny's mom, Terry, has incredible interior design style. She's amazing. And she is helping me revamp my apartment so we can get some fresh energy in here. It's all about embodying the energy of my next level self which I talk a lot about in the Activate Align Expand program. And then we started on the kitchen, which you will slowly see start to come together over this weekend because there's a few things that I need to pick up in the city and a few things I ordered on Amazon. I'm already feeling so good about it. Every few days, I will get a 20 ounce plain celery juice that I will split between three days. So I'll just like drink a little bit each day. And lately, I've been also getting just a small carrot, orange, ginger, lemon, apple juice, I believe. It's like their daily detox juice. It's so yummy. This is my favorite smoothie at NEMS. It is so good, except I get no almond milk. I do it with oat milk, and instead of whey protein, I do vegan protein. It is delicious. Went all the way to the city for a couple of things, but I only ended up getting one thing. Well, it's not one thing, but the one thing I needed. Terry wanted me to get some serving spoons for my little cylinder that are a little bit warmer because we're warming up my apartment a little bit. Okay, yes, I'm very into this. I'm so excited to show you my little apartment transformation. Happy This is on in all black and he goes, oh, all black and sunglasses. It's like, I got you. I can't this the right one. Sorry. <laughs> is it? Just plan and see what happens. Same, same here. Yeah. I so I, that's how I try to look at it, right? No, you're right. I 
kind of in a mood today. <laughs> it's not a bad mood, I just feel like blah. It's so gloomy out today and I just like, I'm already affected by that. But on top of that, it's the first day of my cycle and I just am like really over it. <laughs> And you know what? That's okay. We all have days where we're just not feeling it. And luckily I have Pilates booked this morning, which is good because that will like get me out of the house, get me moving. I always feel better after I move a little bit. And I don't really have plans today. I've been going nonstop for the last three weeks. And maybe today is just a good day to have a chill, quiet solo day. Maybe read my book, maybe just do nothing and just like feel my feels, you know? Having those kinds of days are important. Okay, that totally helped. I feel not like a million percent better, but a lot better. You know what else always makes me feel good is cooking and like getting my hands busy. So I think I'm gonna go home and make my vegan lasagna. I have all the ingredients and I feel like that would be yummy to meal prep for this week. You know what though? I feel like we need a little treat. Let's get a little coffee and a little pastry. Take myself on a Saturday morning coffee date. Sadly, they did not have any little treats that looked good to me, but I did treat myself to a latte. I was gonna save this for dinner, but something cozy and comforting for lunch just sounds like absolute perfection. So we're having it for lunch. The sun has miraculously decided to make an appearance and I cannot think of anything I would want to do more than go and sit in the sun and read my book. Relaxing in the sun is the best medicine for me when I'm having cramps like this. I'm also gonna wash my hair later. So I'm going to oil my hair right now. I'm gonna use some rosemary oil on my scalp and then some grapeseed oil on the ends of my hair. My hair is a lot better than it was last year, but I'm still very much on my hair health, hair healing journey. I do still take Wellbell every single day. I oil my hair periodically. I do use Vegamore, but I'm not super consistent with it. I really only use it like one or two times a week when I remember. I'm not on a very good schedule with it. And I have my Jolie water filter that I use in the shower. I also take those Groon's gummy vitamins every single day, and they have a lot of good stuff in them for hair, skin, and nails too. The other thing I'm loving is the K18 mask, and I'll usually do that once a week and I feel as though all of those things combined as well as like patience and doing them consistently over time has really helped me get my hair back to a good place which I'm so grateful for. Bringing my book and a little coconut water. That was actually so disappointing. Literally 10 minutes after I got out there, the sun went away and it was so cloudy. But I did read a little bit, which I do need to give you a book update, but I'm gonna do that later because right now I'm going to take a nice shower and do a little self-care. The body care lineup for this evening is first the Hyaluronic Body Serum from Osea, and then I'm gonna follow it up with the Undaria Algae Body Oil. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with Osea, and I use something on my body of theirs every single day. Part of me was feeling like I should do something different for dinner since I had lasagna for lunch, but I don't know, I feel like I have it ready to go. Why not? I also have a little bit of leftover salad from dinner last night from Inde, the Indian place that Veronica and I ordered from. So I think I might finish that salad. Oh, actually, you know what? <laughs> I think there's some naan left too, so maybe I'll have some of that. Just a little funky mix-up dinner. I just don't want to order in again since I ordered in last night and I didn't go to the shops today and you know, we're gonna have to work with what we've got. I'm also gonna do my high frequency wand. Ooh, got a little water on the box, which I do usually like once a month. I use the Hyaluronic C Serum from Osea as the conductor serum, just so that I don't like zap my face. It wouldn't like zap my face and hurt. It just wouldn't feel great. I saw somebody or at least a couple people ask me about my facial steamer and if I still use it on Instagram. And no, I don't actually use a steamer anymore because now I live on the East Coast and it is just 
a lot more moist in the air. California is so dry and I haven't felt like I needed to use it here because there's just more humidity here. But if I ever moved back to California, I would probably use it again because it is so dry in California. I feel like my skin has just done so much better since I live in New York though. My skin loves the humidity. For this high frequency wand, I really just use it on my lower face. And the reason I do this is because I feel like it improves my skin texture. I noticed that it also helps treat acne and reduce inflammation and redness in any active breakouts. It oxygenates the skin and improves circulation. And it's something that I used to do when I would go and get facials and I love having this wand at home and I can just do it once a month. Then I'll just leave the excess product on because that Hyaluronic C Serum is so moisturizing. You're so cute. Are you the cutest girl in the world? <laughs> this dog is so freaking cute and so sweet what would i do without you i don't know what i would do without you you're just the cutest thing in the world i'm sorry i know this mask is so scary but it just it needs to be done and what else needs to be done is i need my heating pad because my cramps are so bad <laughs> Okay, before I sign off for the night, I need to give you a book update because I did finish Such a Bad Influence and oh, here's the thing. I have love and respect for anybody that can write a book, get it published, put it out there, have it on bookshelves. That is a huge feat and I'm not one to come on and be like, oh, this book was terrible, whatever. Art is art and I respect anyone and everyone that puts it out there. However, I do want to be honest and say that it was not my favorite book and it just was not my vibe. I did read it cover to cover. It wasn't the worst book in the world. It just wasn't my vibe. So that's how I honestly feel about it. I did start a new book, All the Little Raindrops. I'm only seven chapters in, so I don't have too much to say about it yet, but it did have good reviews. However, I will say there are quite a few possibly triggering subjects and or topics in the book. So just be aware of that if you decide to order it and you wanna read it with me. Just make sure you read the description and make sure that you're okay with the storyline and all the stuff involved because I think it's a little bit dark. The vibes in my room right now are really doing it for me. My new bedding is making me so happy. Good morning, happy Sunday. I just got ready because I was supposed to go to a Yankees game with some of my friends, but it looks as though it's going to rain this afternoon. So we're canning the game, not going because Yankee Stadium is such a trek to get over there and there's a possibility that the game could get rained out and I just, we're not doing that. So was it meant to be? So change of plans. I'm actually, well, I did, I did kind of want to go and I wanted to see my friend Julia and I thought that would be really fun, but I'm not that, that mad because it is September 1st and now I have some extra time to work on my goals for the month, which I really wanted to do today. I have plans later this evening to a game night with some of my other friends, Jack and Elle. So I would have had a really busy day today and I would have probably not done my goals for this month until tomorrow, but now I can do them on the first. And I actually use my Activate Align Expand Planner and Journal for this. There's a monthly spread where I can plan out my goals for the next few months, as well as think about this month regarding my core beliefs, my intentions, what I wanna focus on. And so that is what I'm gonna do today. You can grab your Activate 
Align Expand planner and journal if you haven't already on activatealignexpand.com. There's still a few left. I just went on a five mile walk and it was glorious. The sun has come out. It's like what, 5.30, almost six o'clock. And I had to take advantage of it. So I called my best friend, Laura in LA, AKA TT, if you watched my Bali vlogs and got to catch up with her, which was so nice. And I'm home now because I got to get ready for this game night that I'm going to go to. And I want to wrap up this vlog, but a few of the things that Terry had me order for my kitchen arrived, although I'm still waiting on a few more things. So you have to see the rest of it in the next vlog, but I thought we would kind of put them together. Together. The idea is to just kind of warm up my entire space. Just make it a little more refined. So I'm gonna do some of the books here. And I think I'm gonna bring this Crossroads Kitchen one down here. And I also got this Malibu Farm cookbook, which I think I'm gonna put up on my shelf, but I'll show you that in a minute. To stack these cookbooks over here, we're gonna use these bookends, but instead of letting them peek out, she is having me kind of tuck them in so you can't see them. Okay, so we're gonna take the bookend and put it in between the back cover. Tuck it in like this, so you can't see it. So maybe we don't put this here then. Yeah, I'm feeling like one or two more books here would be good, but I wanna get some more that are neutral or richer in color, not so pink. And then I'm eventually gonna get some art for over here and I wanna put something else in that corner. I'm not quite sure yet. It's a work in progress still, but this is what we have so far. I'm kind of thinking some brass salt and pepper grinders in the corner might be nice or something to be continued. 